we here people got the game at 6 p.m <laughs> but yeah let's go hype shit my friends your patience is about to be rewarded for i have saved the best for last i have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency it will soon be on the shelves in every home of outworld this elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar, powder teeth of an Arctican dragon. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? Salesman bars. You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. Talk to them random, nobody. I'm sorry. You are... Someone fool enough to have believed you! Give this guy a name, my people. My was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage! And you know what she said? It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Man, just hip toss his ass over there. Wash by a bunch of fodder. Hard times. Backwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're a girl, right? Here on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. He's what broke. Want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you. Chronicle wants to elevate talent. All three Chronicle fans right now rejoicing. As if it's even Chronica. Whose girl is this? To make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. Living like a tramp. But you were meant for more. Tell him. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet.
It has begun. We saw all this in the first 17 minutes of the story. Not much new to add here. Huh. This is a good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <laughs> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fenjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Beau is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Beau. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Beau can watch, critique our form. Best two out of three? Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Beau will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. Fight! <laughs> Sit down, Raiden. You haven't beaten me yet. The day's coming, come now. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. They had to make him cocky in every single timeline. Poor Kung Lama. Huh? You were hungry. <clears throat> oh. Everything was delicious, Madame Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madam Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I 
I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know. But I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection. Or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madam Bo, is unfortunate. Who knew Madam Bo was with the shits, right? Let's go, Madam Bo. Devon, get the table. Against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Mad Bo. Fight. <laughs> Now who's in over his head? This was you? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. It is you who will regret crossing me. Before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Fight! <laughs> Sub-Zero. Are you sure you're a Grandmaster? And this is where the 17 minutes ended, right? All new territory right now. Interesting. Hung Lao! Over here! Out here looking like Mae Young. She's out cold. Oh no, is she... Dead? Not yet. Madame Bo was in on it. Damn it, Madame Bo. You sicko. Madame Bo, how are you? Kung Lao, 
Liu Kang, as was predicted. Madame Bo tough as hell. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps, but they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test was rigged. of your ability and character. Yes. Be hard, Kui Liang. Job done on purpose, people. Accepted 30 bucks to make these two look good. That's all. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Damn. Had we not held back, we would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. Wow. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earth Realm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. Um, decent first chapter. Your boy Kung Lao slightly getting shafted here because only one of those wins counted. He only defeated Farmer Raiden. <laughs> he didn't really beat Scorpion, Sub Zero, or Smoke as they were clearly laying down on purpose, accepting that 30 bucks. So, one win in your chapter. Damn, son. But so far, good opening chapter, good fight scenes, good voice acting, decent storytelling. Good stuff. I'd say 7 out of 10 for this chapter. Let's continue.